React.js mind map part 7 out of 10 char the chart is the most interesting part of the mind map app let's create a separate component for the chart a functional component and the chart module CSS file for the styling We have the table view component and the chart component. Both components show mind map items. To toggle views we already have the toggle view toolbar. Let's move it from the content component to the map component. We need to move the toolbar and the list of actions. View new. We use the state to define which view to show table or chart if the state view value equals table we render the table view component else we render the chart component we change the state view value on the toggle view button click if we click the view list button then we set the state view value to table on the other button click we set the value to chart the chart is an svg element let's create an svg and set the view box property the view box is the string that defines the upper left corner position width and height of the visible area all shapes outside the view box will not be visible if the svg has no element there's nothing to see let's add a circle shape and the text to view the svg let's move the circle shape to the new react component Location of the circle we get from the props. We have only one item. Let's add some items. One, two, and three. And now let's render all the items in the chart component we get the list of items from the props to render the item we need to define the position to make it simple let the position be random Next step. Let's arrange the items. The root item, that is, the item with zero level, should be located in the center of the view box. 
the next level items that is the items with level one should be located around the root item we place the one level items on the circle of the radius r with center in the center of the view box the x coordinate of the item equals the x coordinate of the view box center plus radius multiplied by the cosine of the item angle to get the y coordinate we need to replace the cosine to the sinus the items of the level one should be spread evenly around the center the item angle equals item index multiplied by the angle between two items Let's differentiate the root item and the items of the next level. We are gonna use different shapes for the items of the different levels. We use a big circle shape for the zero level, a rectangular shape for the items of level one. To add styling to SVG is like adding styling to any other HTML elements. Let items be of white fill and green stroke. Let's align items of the level 1. The items on the right hand should be aligned by the star. The items on the left hand should be aligned by the end. To get which side the item is, we use the item angle.
Just let's add a little space for the text. Let's connect items with lines. A child item should be connected to the parent item. The connection lines will be located in the separate component. The root item has no parent. There should be no connection line for the root item. So let's check. If the level of the item equals 0, then there's no connection. The connection lines are good, but the mind map is like a tree, a tree with a trunk and branches, so a curved connection would look better. Let's replace the shape line with the shape path. Let connections be of green color. The selected items should be different. We need the selected CSS class for the selected item. Let the selected item be Paulson. To set items selected on the SVG is the same as to set selected items on the table view. On item click we set the ID value of the state equals ID 
of the item. The mind map is almost done, but there could be items of the next level. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to our channel and you will learn how to add the next level.